Hey, what's up everybody? Fnaf World here and I'm here today to do a review of Bleach chapter 444. Um this was actually a pretty good chapter in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. So basically uh, Ichigo is training again, you know, as we continue on, and he's training to get his uh, full bring back and basically the girl tells him um we need to stop this training. Your full bring is going out of control. Uh you know, I'm going to have to beat you down to stop you or something. And Ichigo's like, "No, let's keep going. This is how it's always been for me. My badge and you know, he's just going nuts." And uh, Chad and Ginjo are talking, and uh, they're talking about Sushi. I think his name is Sushi Kima, if I'm correct. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But the, basically, that dude is, um, they're talking if he was the one who attacked Orihime and uh, Uriyu as well. And it's really interesting and a little eerie because when they're talking, the guy, I, again, I don't know his name exactly. I think it's Sushi Kima, comes in, and it's really this eerie feeling. So this chapter is actually really heating up, and uh, you know he's like walking around. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, and uh, he goes. And I'm not sure if he cracked the tank, or if Ichigo's powers just blew up and blew the tank up. Something happened there. I'm not exactly sure. If you uh, know exactly what happened, you really studying this chapter carefully and tell me exactly what happened. But in my opinion, I think. Either he broke it, or Ichigo's powers just exploded and blew where they were up. Because he's like, hmm, where's everybody at? The Sushikima guy is like, oh, so this is where they're hiding. This was a pretty good chapter. Um, definitely, I see now the plot is starting to get a little bit better. Now I think uh, hopefully Kubo is moving the plot onward. Because this was actually a pretty decent chapter. You know, um, we get to see that Ichigo's finally, his powers are finally coming back. You know, And if this exploded, that was kind of cool if you know that really happened. Also, the whole, again, uh, Chad and Ginjo conversation about this dude, like, how are they going to handle him? And uh, is he the only villain? Is there more than one villain? Uh, this uh, definitely, Bleach's plot is actually now getting a little bit decent. I think now we could slow down a little bit on the hate for it. Again, it was uh, it's a little annoying to see more training. You know, it's like, I don't know the, what chapter of him training, but it was exciting, the chapter nonetheless, because we got... Uh, Ichigo, we don't know if he's, his powers are going out of control. We don't know if uh, this dude is, uh, like, what his intentions are exactly, in my opinion. And pretty much, it kind of does look obvious that he's a villain. But with the whole question of if he attacked Orihime and Uryu uh, at the same time, we don't know. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of little mysteries that are starting to unravel little by little. And with this whole uh, uh, Ichigo's power thing, it's getting really intense. But let me know what you thought of the chapter. Do you think it was a boring chapter or do you agree with me that it's actually getting a little bit interesting now? Um, let me know in the comment section below or with a video response. I'm looking forward to it because uh, it's cool to see that something pretty decent bleach is happening now. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm from Neville World and have an awesome day, people.